Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beeson's and I upload every single Wednesday and Sunday. Today's video is like an organized declutter type video. I might throw some extra things in there. But right now, today is Tuesday when I'm filming this. So I'm filming it the day before an upload, which just goes ahead and shows you where I'm at. But yesterday, Monday, I'm a couple days. Oh, hi, Brady. I'm a couple days. Um, before my cycle starts and I have PMDD. So like my mood, my motivation, everything just like plummets before it starts. So yesterday I literally just was like a zombie around the house, took multiple naps and was not productive at all. And of course it's okay to have days like that. But today I gotta get my life together. We have Carter's ninth birthday party on Saturday. I can't even believe that he's nine. Tomorrow, today is the kid's last full day of school. Tomorrow is their last day and it's a half day. Um, so on Saturday I'm having 50 people at my house and it looks like a bomb went off and there's just like end of school year stuff everywhere like all the peepers and things they bring home and on top of that next week we move to the bay for the summer so I just you can understand why I'm feeling overwhelmed and I don't even like know where to start not to mention Father's Day Sunday which I got like some stuff to do a Father's Day DIY but basically I'm gonna bring you along around the house as we declutter and just get our life together. I'm looking into like a disgusting sink full of stuff. There's just, I know that once I do this, I'll feel better. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to film like a full reset where we do like the fridge, the pantry, all that kind of stuff. I'm not necessarily gonna be ordering a bunch of groceries because like I said, we're going to the Bay for the summer. Um, so if you're overwhelmed and you need a place to start, Let's do it together. Today is organizing decluttering tomorrow, which video you'll see. I'm not gonna upload a fresh video on Sunday. I might do like some type of marathon on Sunday since it's Father's Day. Um, but the next video will be Wednesday and that will be a full like reset. And then after that, a party prep. And after that, all the Bay House videos. And I'm so excited because we are DIYing the bathrooms ourselves, the upstairs bathrooms. Um, the downstairs one was already redone professionally um, and we're doing our bedroom, the kids' bedroom, so all of it ourselves. <laughs> it could go terribly wrong, but it'll be really fun. It's something I love to do and plus it's just on the water and everything's just more chill. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get into this. It, it's got to be better than what it is now. So first things first, I am making a list because I wanted to write down what I wanted to accomplish today versus what I wanted to accomplish in my reset. So maybe an idea for you if you don't, you know, call it an organize and declutter or call it a reset, maybe just write down what date you want to get something done or like what you're going to do that day, what you're going to do the next day. I just feel like otherwise I was going to be like deep cleaning the fridge, deep cleaning the pantry, and I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to focus on putting things back where they belong, decluttering and organizing. So it was really helpful to do it this way because as I was thinking of one thing I wanted to declutter, I would think of something else that I wanted to clean. So I highly recommend just making yourself a list so that you can stick to it. Thank God for caffeine, am I right? Are you a Dunkin' girl or a Starbucks girl or a just make it at home or even worse? 
don't drink coffee at all. No, I'm just kidding. I literally plan my day around my coffee and like when I'm having my first cup, when I'm having my second cup. But another little tip if you can is to make something more exciting or motivate you to do it is just get a couple little new things. So even if that's just a new cleaner or a new oil for your diffuser, something to motivate you. So when I was at TJ Maxx, I found these really affordable gloves and just a new drying mat and I really needed new hand towels for the house and some sponges. So something as simple as this just really motivated me to go ahead and get going on this because like I said the day before I just looked at everything and felt overwhelmed and took a nap which it's okay to have days like that but you have to get back up and get going. All right, so one of the things that I love the most about organizing is you're basically putting a system in place so when things get crazy you know where things go and you know where to put it back at and just how to make it look organized again so this little under sink setup that I have I love I know trust me I'm alive and well I know what's on Instagram and TikTok and shorts and some full-blown videos of organization that is just out of this world at least for me that wouldn't make sense for me with kids or it's just like insane organization my goal is not just like the aesthetically pleasing my goal is again a system to make life easier um, I'm a bad plant mom I need to give all my plants some water so that was my reminder for that but this is just another example of why it's good to stick to a list like obviously I can quickly water my plants right but when you start someplace with cleaning and for example I'll be like doing something in the office and I'll find something that needs to go upstairs so then I'm upstairs organizing some random spot where I'm putting said thing back so you know it can spiral it can snowball and it can be a great thing but if you're on a timeline or if you don't want to feel overwhelmed or if you you know want to have the second portion of the day to spend time with your family it's nice to stick to a list so I decluttered some of my oils and I just threw them in the office and I'll put those away when we get to the office but basically the whole thing that i'm trying to uh, relate to you is make an organizational system that works for you that little area under my sink has been working well for a very long time years now and i highly recommend it they're just little acrylic bins from amazon which i have linked to my amazon storefront you can follow me on there um, which is in my description box below Again, it was really hard for me to just throw stuff in the fridge and not like clean and organize the fridge, but I know that I'm doing that tomorrow, so that's what gives me some peace. And then I always love my giant fruit tray, but right now I only have a little bit of fruit. I'm not sure exactly like how much to order because like I said, we're going to be going to the bay for the summer in a few days, so I'm sure I have to restock at least a little bit because we go through fruit really fast. And again, we're not deep cleaning. We're just getting the yuck out, basically. So I couldn't just let these crumbs sit here. They had to go. So here's another example of something, a system that works in my house. I just have a little basket that I keep on the kitchen counter that I put dirty towels in, whether that's like just a wet towel, um, like washcloths we use down here sometimes for the kids' faces before school, cleaning cloths, just a spot to put all the dirty cloths. Otherwise, they will sit on the stairs, just on the stairs. Um, because our washer and dryer is upstairs which I do love having it upstairs but there's times like uh, this when I miss it so the basket works also at the bay house the washer and dryer is like right in the kitchen and I kind of love that is yours upstairs or downstairs You think nobody's ever thought of the things 
So as you can see, I'm just washing the dishes and another thing that I could never just leave for the next day is the sink because that's one of my things. I like clear countertops and I like a clean sink when there's just like dirty or food. It honestly reminds me of like a dirty toilet. I can't handle it. I feel like everybody has their thing that has to be clean. I'd love to know what yours is, but mine is definitely like the sink has to be cleaned. I can't just have like gross food sitting in my sink and wake up to that the next day. So I swear we're not snowballing in our cleaning right now, but I just have to water this other plant. My really dried out plant reminded me to water this as well. It's not doing too great. I picked out all the dead stuff out of it, but I just really need to be a better plant mom. Um, I love flowers and plants and all of it, but I have a lot of things and people to take care of in my life. So this is just, you know, the uh the one that gets forgotten sometimes but i do love my plants and, and now i just have to remember to bring all these to the bay with me i'm not doing anything too fancy with this sink cleaning just cleaning out these little sink protectors first and then I'm going to scrub the sink with just some thieves uh, sink and tub scrub and a little bit of dish detergent which reminds me I need to get dish detergent ASAP we have Carter's birthday party and I know I always use extra detergent around those times like cleaning up party plates and things like that um, but yeah happy that I just remembered <laughs> that I need to buy more And now that the dishes are done and drying, I'm just doing the countertops and just scrubbing those down. Um, they were bad, like they had like food and stuff all over them. They needed a quick little wipe down. So again, to me, that's not really deep cleaning. That's just getting everything back to baseline. And in my reset, we will be really cleaning everything. When I know that I'm like doing a whole house clean, I'll take out more cleaning tools. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. But I have a steamer and it's amazing. Like you just use it for like two seconds on the countertops and it like just takes all of that stuck on food and releases it. And then you can use like a little scraper. But yeah, I'll do all of that when I do my deep cleaning. Back to decluttering. This area really needed some love. Um, we just have like our books and like little things we study with. I always say, you know, I am an organized chaos type of person. I don't know how anybody with four kids can have like a perfect home. We definitely don't, but our home is definitely full of love. We have fingerprints on the wall, scuffs up, like scuffs and everything, <laughs> but we're gonna miss these days, right? Um, so that little area, I just wanted to clean up and declutter and put some books back where they belong and even get rid of some stuff that we're not using anymore. And this junk drawer, I had a neighbor over last month and they were grabbing a pen and I was like, oh, sorry, I really need to organize that. And he was like, you need to organize this? And then he showed his wife, he was like this, she says she needs to organize this and they like laughed at me. But for me, that's not organized. Everybody has like their own standard of organization and I have always been a very organized person since a child. And to me, I always tell you this and I know a lot of you can relate, it's not about looking perfect. It's never about that. It's about how it eases your mind. And as somebody who suffers with anxiety, it's just, it makes me feel less overwhelmed and more clear minded when things are organized and tidy.
Moving on to the living room, I had on my list to just go through these books because as you can see, this was just overflowing and not very tidy and I was excited because I found Tanner's library book in here, which I was about to have to pay for. Um, so that was definitely a plus. Moving on to the office, which is very much a catch-all area. Um, the first thing I'm doing is laminating some awards that my kids got. I am so proud of them. All three of my school-aged kids won a kindness award. And I know they give like awards out throughout the year, but the fact that they all won the kindness meant a lot to me because Chris and I always say, we don't need the honor student. We don't need the smartest person in the class. We need the kindest person. That's like what really matters to us. Yes, we want them to, you know, feel confident in their academics and we want them to do well, of course. But above all that, you can be smart, but if you're not kind, it doesn't matter, in my, in my opinion at least. So speaking of academics, I am laminating Tanner's sight words. I do this every time he gets new sight words and I just put it like on a little key ring that I got from... I don't think it's considered a key ring. I don't know what kind of ring it's called, but they have them at Dollar Tree. And this is great because if you're new here, I have a son in first grade, a daughter in kindergarten, a son in third grade, and then my little one is in preschool. But since my daughter will be going into first grade next year, she can also use these sight words over the summer, and he can as well. If you're wondering what I'm watching, I was watching a bunch of shorts, which makes me feel like I need to make more shorts because I really just do like long form and then I'll do some like Instagram reels here and there, but I should do more shorts because I noticed that I was watching them for um, different tutorials on how to make a sheet pan, a sheet pan cake, right? That's what it's called. I've never made a flat cake shockingly um so this is my first time for carter's birthday party he wants a soccer field cake so like i always say pray for me because i love doing the cakes by myself but they're definitely always challenging i learn every time also i have kids born in january and november so i feel by this point in june it's like refreshing because i host the holidays and then i do both of their birthdays and by the end of it i'm so burnt out and now I have this big long gap and in June I'm doing another birthday party and then in August for my daughter. Um, so I always feel kind of like out of the game by June so I like to watch some videos and just like catch up on techniques. I also watch some balloon um, arch videos because I really wanted to try and not use the balloon tape this time and try something different. Also dining room was on my list. That Amazon box is full of like some party stuff that I have over there but um, I was happily surprised because two things that were on my list, I saw that Chris went ahead and did, and one of them was unload the dishwasher um, later on in this video, and two was that he took all of the random stuff that was in the dining room and put it away, so that was nice. And now we're moving on to the playroom. I got about halfway through before the kids got home from school, and then it started to be um, scary. They started telling me like, no, don't get rid of that, and like going through the garbage bag, going through the donation bag, so definitely do it when they're not home and I know a lot of the stuff that um, they were upset about was like these little skirts we have about a hundred of these dress-up skirts that I never see them use so instead of having this big old basket full of dress-up clothes that we don't use I'm hanging up the things that we do use and then we're going to use this basket for our blankets which you'll see in a minute here This little stuffed animal thing has been a godsend because my kids have sentimental value in their stuffed animals, but they don't usually sleep with them unless it's like a really special one. And 
I don't know, right now it's looking kind of hefty in here and probably needs to be decluttered, especially by the end of summer because, you know, we go to Fantasy Island a lot and they win plushies and things like that. Um, so we will definitely have to go through that. But right now I'm at the point where after this video and after my reset and party prep, my mind is on the bay. Like that's what I've been thinking about. Like I want to redo those rooms and organize. And then once I get back home in the fall for the new school year is when I'll focus on all the little things I wanted to do around this house. So usually when I'm decluttering, I'll have a bag for donations and a bag for garbage, like things that are broken. Here you can see Ella's going through the bag telling me that she's using these skirts. And I said, that's fine. You can put them into the basket if you promise that you'll like wear them and play with them. The one thing I will say that her and Everly still play the most is Barbies and baby dolls. So those are what they use the most in the playroom. Um, but it's sad, you know, Carter's turning nine and his birthday gift that he wanted from us this year is Jordans. And I'm like, what do you mean you want Jordans and gift cards? Like, don't you want like a dinosaur toy or like something to play with? And absolutely not. He loves sports, but he pretty much has like anything that he could want for like sports equipment and stuff like that. But don't blink guys, because it really does go by so fast and each new step is fun. I'm highlighting Evie playing there because I'm telling you when the playroom is nice and organized, it really does like entice your kids to play more. When they walk in, they feel the same way as we do when there's stuff everywhere. They feel that overwhelmed too. So that's why I'm fine with decluttering and like getting rid of stuff and donating things. And my kids also know how important it is to donate to those less fortunate. So they are pretty good when we remind them that what we're donating isn't just going into a garbage, it's going to another kid. And as you can see here, also Ella is wanting to play too and telling you it works every single time. So for the mud room, I'm doing like just a quick declutter and going through some of their school stuff. I just decluttered their shoes like a couple of weeks ago, so I know we're good with that. And then the top of their cubbies could definitely used to be decluttered, but it was getting late. We just got home from gymnastics and just finished dinner. So I had to just make the most of my time this evening. So here I'm asking Carter if he wants his recorder music and he said yes, he wants to keep it to keep playing his recorder and my initial reaction was like oh gosh because you know it's really loud but I'm happy that he likes to play that. He refuses to do an instrument in school but he is actually pretty good with the recorder and I have been impressed with how much he actually dedicated to it. Um, and then these are workbooks that Tanner's teacher sent home that were like untouched, so I'm saving them for him to do this summer. The kids are down. I am completely and utterly exhausted, but I promised myself I would get to my closet and now I am finally doing that. I have like suitcases that were still packed from when I went on um, that ShopRite golf trip and I just really needed to organize everything and put clothes away. I have shoes and clothes and again I'm thinking to myself this looks like so much in my closet but a lot of it will be going to the bay with me and then once we get home for the fall we will you know go ahead and declutter and donate more clothing. As a mom of four who likes to be productive and you know, I never really sit down honestly, unless like the kids and I are watching a movie together or something like that. 
but I make sure that when I'm doing laundry, I have a show on or just something I want to watch. Same with when I'm doing some of my workouts in the morning, I'll put on like Real Housewives or just something because I never really get mindless moments like that. So I try to make them the most enjoyable that I can. All right, so all of this is folded. I'm just hanging up anything that needs to be hung. Surprisingly, I feel like I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of my leggings because the CRZ yoga brand that I fell in love with a few months ago are like a little bit too big on me. I'm gonna try a size um, down, but not, since I've been working out and everything, they don't fit very nicely. So I'm realizing that I'm not wearing them and when you're not wearing it, you need to get rid of it. So I'll definitely, donate those to my sister but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up Okay.